Hey everyone, Libby and I are heading out to do some shopping today. We're heading over to Parramatta and then we're going to Blacktown. We're going to go to TK Maxx and Bath and Body Works, see if we can get some bargains. And we may even show you what our supermarkets look like. We don't actually need anything, thank goodness, because there's nothing on the shelf anyway. But yes, I have, asked, I have been asked some questions about our toilet paper issues here in Australia, and it is actually a real thing. People are panic buying toilet paper, flour, pasta, rice, hand sanitizer, tissues, paper towels, baby formula, lady products, nappies, canned foods, pretty much everything. So luckily enough Libby and I are pretty well stocked already but I don't know what's happening but it's pretty crazy. The other day when I went into my supermarket all of the eggs were completely gone. Eggs? I don't know. Look, we've got local farmers down the road that supply eggs every day so I don't really get why everybody is panic buying it's just it's crazy but if you're hearing all sorts of rumors about Australians going nuts panic buying it is definitely true everyone is fighting and it's just generally stupid um, I don't think panic buying is really necessary because I actually work for a company company that is supplying from distribution centers to stores and we actually delivered 10 trucks of toilet paper yesterday. So I can assure everybody, toilet paper is not gonna run out anytime soon. But anyway, we will show you what we get and, oh, we did already pick up something. We got a, a nice Thai brown sugar milk tea with boba. We needed something for our little car trip. So a lot of people have been asking me what is happening in Australia and why is everybody losing their minds? I can't answer that, but I will show you what our shelves look like. This is where the flower used to be. As you can see, she's pretty bare. There's a couple of little items left. Nothing, uh, too exciting here but this is our flower. Okay so now we're coming up to the tissues. So now they're limiting the boxes so this is just tissue paper. As you can see there is none. Paper towels? None. There is no paper towels. I don't understand, maybe people are using it, the toilet paper, and of course then we come to the toilet paper, and yes, there is none. And now we're coming to the baby items, which there's very little nappies, so anybody in Australia who has a baby, I feel for you because your choices are very limited. There's no baby wipes, no nothing. And as you can see, the Panadol, Paracetamol, Nurofen has completely almost been wiped out. As you would probably expect anyway. I hope nobody is really wanting to make any kind of pasta dishes because well, there's not a lot of pasta left. Actually, I am impressed with this coals. This is the most amount of pasta I have seen in days. And I have to say, I am super impressed with how much rice is left on these shelves because every other Coles, Woolworths, IGA I've been to, there is absolutely zero rice whatsoever. So I'm impressed. I love all these Easter decorations. This one, what cool is it? Look at the egg. Oh, I like 
Cushion. I need this cushion in my life. It's too cute. Oh, look at these bunny ones. I love Easter. Not as much as Christmas, but I still love Easter. It's cute. Okay, I think I need this in my life. I think I'm gonna get this one. Because I like the little cutter. It's pretty cool. And it's only $6.95. Yeah. Look how cool these glasses are. They've got rabbits on them and they're like duo chrome. They're so cool. And then you've got the jugs down here with the little rabbits on. How cool are they? Look at these gorgeous tea towels. I love this one and it's only 15 bucks you get two but if I bought it I would not use it so I would just keep it because it's just too pretty I love this one too he's cute he's only eight bucks look at this one I love these ones they're too cute oh, I just love them all I'd love to get some you just wouldn't use them. How much are they? Yeah, they're 14 bucks too. I would just keep them in the cupboard because they're too cool to use, so I think I'll pass. Okay, I have a lost Libby. Every time we go shopping in a department store, she goes missing. I need to put a tracker on that girl because I swear <laughs> she's gone down and been lost in the big hole of TK Maxx somewhere. The store has snabbled her up. Alrighty, so we are back home and I will show you what we picked up. Now, we went to Bath and Body Works, like I mentioned. I actually had to exchange one of my um, other purchases from a couple of weeks ago. It was actually one of the little, um, one of these things. For some reason, I couldn't get the lid off. We tried everything, but anyway, they were so nice and they did exchange it for me, so that was lovely. So I'll show you what I picked up today. Just a couple of things. Okay, I love these. All right, so obviously we've got a bath bomb and this one here is one of the ones the shower steamer in lavender so this is for the shower loving those i got some concentrated room spray in endless weekend i got um a fragrance spray which i actually like spraying around the rooms as well called beautiful day libby actually got this in a candle it is beautiful I got a couple of car diffuser thingies, one for me, one for Mike, and I got these to trial. I got Cranberry Woods, which smelt so good, and I got Mahogany Teakwood, a couple of those to trial out to see which ones we like. Now I also got a whole heap of these um, little smelly things for my diffuser, the wall diffusers, you know, the ones you plug in and whatnot. I got sunlit cashmere, vanilla birch, and of course, winter. I love that one. And they threw this blue ocean waves in for free. I don't know what that smells like, but we'll see. I got ocean driftwood and sun washed citrus. So I'm excited to try out those. Now they had a two for one deal, which I was a bit excited about. So I did get a candle, even though I still have a heap of candles left. I still really do need to get onto. Mm, but this one smells so good. It is thankful. So if you haven't tried this one, it is beautiful. Smells so good, I can't wait to try it. It's frankincense, which I've never smelled that before. Frankincense and 
I can't pronounce that other word. I don't want to murder it. So that is what it is. And you got a free Body and Bath Works. This is a body wash or foam bath. Look at that. Look at the beautiful gold flick in there. Mm -mm. Can't wait to try that in the bath or the shower. And it smells beautiful, just like the candle. So I'm pretty happy with my little stash. And at TK Maxx, I only got that spatula that I showed you. But I have had a couple of other purchases lately. Online, I bought, um, what was it? Now, who is she? The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, her new one. I don't know if you like makeup or not, but I love makeup and I bought her new palette. If you're thinking about it, it's beautiful. It blends like a dream. Now, for any of you who know me, obviously know I do love my makeup and I have a beauty room and it's full of makeup. I've got palettes galore, lipsticks, you name it, I probably own it. And I love Jeffree Star. I have got everything Jeffree Star you can think of. If you don't know who he is, have a quick gander on YouTube, look him up. Yes, he comes across a little bit weird and odd, but he is really actually pretty cool and he's got some beautiful makeup. Have a look at his website if you're after anything. Great prices if you're in the US. For us here in Australia, we pay a bit more, but well worth it. Now, this is his new Blood Moon palette. Look at that, crushed velvet, I love it. This is an artistry palette, so not for the timid, but also very wearable for every day. You might look at these colors and go, oh my God, I would never wear those. But I tell you, once you start getting these on your eyes, these colors are very, very workable and can be worn every day. I have been wearing this palette. Thank you. I've been wearing this palette shadows every day for the last week. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, Jeffree Star. Oh, and I also got this, which is just one of his lip glosses. I love these. Now you might think purple lip gloss. No, thank you. It's actually not purple once it gets on the lips. It looks purple but it doesn't come off that way on the lips. It just gives you a, a nice little bit of a glowy sheen. It's actually really cool. But anyway, oh, dear me, death by bird. You're giving me dandruff. But anyway, that is my shopping day for today. Oh, and I almost forgot, I got this um, it's called the Magic Star Concealer. It's a Jeffree Star Concealer. Look how cool that is. So for your under eyes, where you've got a little bit of, um, you know, when you get bags under your eyes because you're not sleeping, this stuff here is good. But other than that, that is me. I'm done. I can't show you the Jaclyn Hill palette that I bought because Libby borrowed it for the wedding she went to last weekend. I hope they should get that back anytime soon. Mm, we'll see. But that's it. That was my haul for today. I can't wait to try out my new candle, my body wash, my car diffusers. It was a great day. And yes, as I said for those supermarkets, Australia has gone crazy. I am not one of them. I've already stockpiled stuff because I buy stuff on a regular basis anyway, so I didn't have to go crazy. But let's hope the um, rest of Australia comes to their senses very shortly because Half of the stuff that they're stockpiling is actually Australian made, so I don't actually get what the drama is. But anyway, let's hope this virus passes through the world very quickly, and I hope all of you are staying safe. Remember, washing your hands, keeping away from people who are sick the best you can, just be careful, look after yourselves, and I hope you are all very well. But anyway, that is me for this weekend. I've had a great weekend and tomorrow back to the grindstone and that's okay. We love it. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. I shall catch you all again real soon.